the shop itself it's, it's been in London for just over a year I think it's been okay. open for so they opened it and they hired a manager to run it yeah exactly and then now they decide they want to turn downstairs which is a stock room into a barber shop so it's um, yeah I think they realized they had quite a bit of space to be able to do more things and um, and yeah so it works, works quite nice that should, should be good fun vlog it is almost half five I had a bit of a, a mistake this morning I overslept my alarm luckily Cash's alarm went off at five o'clock so no problem no drama no stress but I was uh, I was thinking for a second well Harvey something exciting going on now just on my way to Stansted first thing going to Berlin for a couple of days going up to meet uh, the team at Mueller very excited for it all should be a pretty exciting trip we're gonna go and meet everyone today think and then a little bit of free time so I'll keep you all updated. out in Berlin now and it is a little bit chilly actually I'm trying to get to the train I think it's a short ride then into the city centre I'm gonna go and drop my bags off at the hotel and then go and visit the shop go and have a little look around and I think we've got a bit of free time actually so cool Wednesday afternoon, three o'clock. I got into Berlin. Just when I when I had some nice food, actually stopped at this vegan vegetarian cafe. Really nice. Uh, then came to the shop to come and check it all out. Just seen it all. Then spent a little bit of time with Dennis. Spent a little bit of time with Fred, who works in there, the manager of the shop. And uh, yeah, the shop's absolutely beautiful, as I've just shown you in the uh, the B-roll. So now I'm going to go and have a little wander around Berlin and try and do a little bit of exploring. Haven't seen it at all, so I fancy I'm a little bit parched right now. I'm going to go get myself a little drink and then we're going to go for a little wander and see what's occurring. Day two in Berlin, been to the gym this morning, had a nice little breakfast and just got changed and now on my way to the shop and hopefully do a few haircuts today, go and meet a few more people and see how it goes. I'm going to go set up now. So what I would say is actually we need to take that in 
just where it's only got a little bit of bulbous out through here so it can grow a little flatter out through the sides. We'll take that just so it's cleaner around the ears. I would I would just scissor over coat and that, just blend that up quite, quite softly. You, we don't want to go mega short with that, do we? We still want to keep a little bit of length through there, don't we? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to taper the nape out very tight though, just so that blends very subtly into the neck. I think that'll work very nicely. Let me have a little look at what we've got through this top area. So actually what I would suggest with this, I don't, how are you finding the front? Because I think the front's fairly short already. Yeah. I would think that actually the length you have there works really quite nicely, but I would then come back, the shape at the moment's a little bit like this. So I would just then change it a little bit more like that, whereas this is getting really quite heavy in through there. Yeah. I think once you release that, I think that'll sit there really quite nicely and just, just push over. I think that would work really quite smart with it. And through this crown where it's just a little bit heavy, we'll just then flatten that off and take this extra corner away off in through this back area. Yeah, it's good. Okay. itself it's, it's been in London for just over a year I think it has been okay. open for. So they opened it and they hired a manager to run it? Yeah exactly and then now they decide they want to turn downstairs which is a stock room into a bar shop so it's um, yeah I think they realised they had quite a bit of space to be able to do more things and, um, and yeah so it work, works, works quite nicely actually it should be good fun. So yeah so that's going to open in a couple of weeks time all being well I think and yeah, so it should be good. So just trying to acclimatise myself to the products and, and get knowing what everything is and mm. the procedures that they want, their vision. Yeah. And yeah, so no, it's good fun. So see at the moment now, so what I've done is reduced a lot of weight that was then sat through this area. So you can see how the silhouettes, it's very flat in through there. I haven't, probably haven't taken it short through here than what it was before, but I've cleaned up around the ear. I think with that length, that'll grow out really nicely for yourself, because also then what that does is by balancing and keeping a bit more width in through there, that balances the shape that you have with your face in through there to create a bit more of a, a stronger silhouette in through that area. But okay, it's those parts are not, you know, wouldn't call them, it doesn't look that good. I don't know where it gets the, the awkward, more awkward it looks. Yeah. What I would say though, so at the moment you see, if we turn to the side, obviously you can see at the moment, obviously this looks like it's big patchy, but the reason why that looks even more so is because this area is so dark. If we were to fade down that area a lot more, take that a lot shorter, that would actually then blend into there a little bit more. So if we take this down, by quite a bit, obviously fade that in and through those sides so it gets a lot shorter, that's going to make the transition sit a lot smoother. I think that'll work really well with it. In terms of underneath, do we want to just fade that out so it sits very natural in through there? Fade it out, because I think that'll work really, really elegant with it in through there. think well he's had that same haircut for as, as long as I've ever known him the whole time he's been as James Bond that whole thing he's always had that type of haircut so if you find something that works for you go for it like I'm yes I'm always one that's like, trying to change things up and mix it but actually if you find something that works for you just rock that and it still can look great always if it's cut correctly so there we go shop just there successful couple of days at the shop uh, did a nice few haircuts today few shaves actually which was good hadn't done a sh few shaves as many shaves as I did today in a while so actually that was good good bit of fun I'm looking forward to when we open the shop being doing hopefully doing a lot more shaves as well uh, so yeah it was just successful I'm in Berlin airport at the moment just got some food uh, today at lunch what did I have I had this uh, smoked tofu um, it was 
it's like a red pesto. It's not a pesto in like a bagel, it's actually really good. The bagel was like a bit on the dry side, had some flat seeds, but it was sick. Whereas in the gym this morning, it's a good workout, a bit warm in there, didn't have a pre workout, so I had to really push myself, but it was good. Just in the airport now, got myself some pesto pasta, got myself a little green tea. Yeah, 500 mil for, for four euros fifty, of course, I should imagine. So I'm gonna have this now, flight delayed, so here we go, great news. <laughs> Mikey Gordon. Steve O'Mills. Is it gone black? Where I can't see me at all. What's going on? I uh, in an airport, flight delayed. What's everyone doing? Someone talk to me. I'm bored. So end of the trip now, I just got in an Uber home, flight was delayed, feeling absolutely knackered to be totally honest. Uh, good few haircuts in there today, it was good fun, made me excited now about the next step, getting all London all sorted out. So that's going to be ready in the next couple of weeks to add a little value for this episode today, right, top shaving tips. So if you're going your neck is sensitive if you get ingrown hairs underneath and through there I would always say go with the grain assess the pattern first go with the grain and make sure you go delicate you don't need to go one pass over it big thing there with it as well is to use a cutthroat shave if, you, if you've got lots of different growth patterns underneath go get a cutthroat razor so you can be a little bit more intricate with it if you've got one of these Gillette Mac 3s or a Fusion it just goes over that area five times in a row and you're just absolutely smashing it and there's no wonder that everybody is walking around with red necks underneath so that's top tip number one top tip number two just make sure that it is a comfortable shave make sure you really enjoy it just make sure it's, you prep the skin properly cold towel to finish right well a few more weeks on shop opens we shall see you soon.